streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What up, though? What's crack a lacking? I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome BFFs are doing well. Now, if you're not familiar with a BFF, that just means that you're a part of the Blue Flame family. And all you have to do to become a part of this family is subscribe to my channel, okay? So this is going to be a collective read. This means it's readings for anyone of any zodiac sign. Now, if you find that something resonates with you, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Become a BFF. And then also comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on and how this resonates with your situation. Now, if you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. And right now, I am running a special on my love readings. They're only $25. And my Twin Flame readings will be $35. Okay, so if you're interested in a personal, check out the description box below. Get my information. Hit me up and we'll get into it, okay? So let's go on to get into it and see what spirit wants you to know. So I started off this reading with messages through music. So somebody done got caught up. Okay, we know Usher just performed at the uh, Super Bowl. I didn't watch it, but you know, shout out to Usher or whatnot. But somebody here done got caught up. Now, this could be someone who I feel like I'm picking up the energy of being in denial. Because the only way you're going to get caught up in some shit is if you was in denial, if you was doing some sneaky stuff. Okay, so somebody could have been doing something sneaky, or this is someone who done got caught up, okay? Now, whoever this person is and got caught up, they like Eminem. They got to clean out their closet. So this means that they have to expose themselves, or they have to reveal some skeletons, you know, get rid of these past relationships and connections and people that they've been holding on to, okay? So somebody could be trying to clean out their closet, and they're trying to rid themselves of, of whatever it was or whomever it was. They could have been holding on to the past. Now, Colette, somebody here missed these tender kisses that you guys used to share, okay? Now, some of you, you may not even ever kiss your person. I ain't never kissed my twin, you know? So, you can be in a relationship. Oh, excuse me. You can be in a relationship now, you know, and this person loves those tender, juicy lips, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody could be missing your tender kisses. Maybe there is someone collective that you miss their tender kisses. Y'all take it how it resonates. But we got Deborah Cox, nobody's supposed to be here. So I feel like there was someone that you had a connection with, right? But this is someone who kind of like built this wall up around their heart. So this is someone who really refused to let love in. You know, when you don't want to let love in, you don't allow yourself to understand the feelings and emotions. Like if you start to catch feelings and emotions for someone, just because you told yourself that you would never love again or I'll never put up, you know, this is someone who I feel like was hurt in the past. Like, they had some type of hurt, past pain. You know what I'm saying? Or something they went through in the past hurt them. But versus this person, you know, taking time to heal from the past, you know, they could have been someone who dove in and out of relationships. So I feel like you were dealing with someone collected that built a, a wall around their heart. And when they met you, you know, you were kind of the one that cracked the cold or you was able to kind of, break down a little bit you know of that wall that this person had built and this is someone who tried to tell themselves they didn't love you okay this is someone who tried to tell themselves in the past that they did not love you they didn't have feelings and emotions for you you know this is the same person who i feel like is caught up now someone here is caught up in all these feelings and emotions that they have for you because they convinced themselves in the past they didn't love you you know in this song new edition if it isn't love okay and the lyrics are you know i told myself i didn't love you so this is someone who definitely told themselves they didn't love you right but then in the song in the chorus it says but if it isn't love why do i feel this way okay somebody here had to continue to ask themselves over and over again well damn I, they, they told themselves they didn't love you. But yet, again, you know what I'm saying? Why did they feel this way? Why did they have these kind of feelings and emotions? Or why did they feel a certain way towards you? You know what I'm saying? 
if it is in love, then why do you stay on my mind? You know, this person had to ask themselves, okay, well, if I don't love the collective, then why the fuck am I always thinking about the collective? You know what I'm saying? Why is this person constantly on my mind when I'm at work, when I'm out with my family and friends, when I'm kicking it, when I'm doing this and that? You are constantly on this, this person's mind. Whether they involved with somebody else or not, you're the person that's constantly on their mind. They had to ask themselves, if this is in love, then why does being why does not being with the collective hurt me so bad? You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't love somebody, you don't give a damn if you ain't with them or not. You're gonna live your life and you're gonna carry on about your way and you're gonna do what you gotta do regardless, right? But when you really love somebody, you just can't move on. You know what I'm saying? It's like you just this person could never just seem to move on from you. You know what I'm saying? And this is when they had to realize, like, I do love the collector. You know, this is someone who's caught up now because they realize that they do have feelings and emotions for you after they've convinced themselves that they don't. Okay, y'all, sometimes them titles be coming to me, so I had to write this shit down, okay? So this person had to ask themselves, if this isn't love, then why does being not why does me not being around the collector, me not talking to them, me not seeing them? You know, why does that shit hurt me? Why does shit bother me if I don't love them? If I don't love them, why do I feel so sad? Why I feel empty without them in my life? Like these are questions that this person had to legit ask themselves here, okay? What we going to here? Let's go to the yin and yang. Then we'll pull some tarot and clarify this. Messages for my collective. I love you, collective. If anything is resonating for you so far, don't forget to like this video. This is someone you guys, you had a strong sexual chemistry with, okay? So I feel like sex with this person, baby, was off the chain. Y'all could have had lots of passionate kisses. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like a whirlwind. Like, you literally got lost up in the whirlwind, this person, with a sex. You know what I'm saying? For some of you, this person was using sex magic. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what happened with me and my twin. You know, somebody, you can have that... That strong, that sexual connection be so strong. Like, as soon as they pull up outside, shit, that thing get wet. You know what I'm saying? Or you get horny as fuck. Like, just thinking about just being around this person or shit. What y'all gonna do later on, okay? But see, there was that sex, man. This person's over here getting it to you good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fucking the daylights out your ass. But that was their way of keeping you stuck here. All right, messages for my collector. Tell us more about this person. Because we want to know who this person is that done got caught up and all these feelings and emotions, okay? I feel like this is someone who just thought whatever you guys had was just good sex. You know what I'm saying? This is just a fling, y'all. You know, the collector just got some good dang lane, a good cool to care. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to never admit to themselves, like, no, nah, this is love. So this is someone who had a hard time telling the difference between love and lust because I feel like they were always in a lustful energy. So then they fuck around and found somebody that they loved. You know, they couldn't tell the difference, like, was they lusting, was this love, or was this lust? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this person who was caught up. For some of you, there is some type of truth, though, that's going to hurt you. Okay, so this is someone who has not been completely honest with you about something. And once they reveal this truth to you, it's going to hurt, okay? Or once some type of truth is revealed to you about this person, it's going to hurt you here, okay? So this person that you could have had this strong sexual connection with, you know what I'm saying? This is someone who I feel like ain't been keeping it real with you, you know, and it's like either some truth is going to be revealed to you or they're going to do it themselves. Either way, this shit going to hurt. We got self-love. This is someone who really needs to focus on loving themselves. So this is like a people pleaser. You know, they'll put everyone else's wants and needs before them, before their own. You know, they always put themselves on the back burner. Oh, I can do this later. Or I'll do this, you know what I'm saying? Because this person need that or that person need me. You know, this is someone who I feel like is heavily dependent on, but they really need to focus on loving themselves because shit, they'll tell these people no some damn time. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What does my collective need to know? Look at this. The truth, telling you the truth is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Yeah, for some of you, this person got to tell you some type of truth. Okay, for some of you, this could be like them revealing their deepest, darkest secret to you, you know? And whatever this truth is, because I feel like they haven't been 100% honest with you, or for some of you, they ain't told you the truth, period. You know? Because this is someone that convinced themselves they didn't love you. So if they didn't love you, you know, if they didn't view you as someone they loved, then why they got to tell you the truth? You know what I'm saying? Why they got to tell you about their past and things that went on. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that feel like they didn't have to do this shit because they convinced themselves they didn't love you. Look at this. That shit is so good. This is what they 
this is what they convinced themselves. I can't make this up. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. They convinced themselves that this was just good sex that you share. For some of you, you could have convinced yourself that yeah, this, this was just good sex. You know, you really didn't have feelings or emotions for this person. All right, let's get one more. Then we're going to pull just a little bit of tarot. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome collective, Holy Spirit. This is someone who has been hurt. I can't make this up. They have been hurt in the past. Whatever they dealt with, whoever they was holding on, they've been hurt. So this person was not able to give you reciprocity. They were not able to give you that love, that connection that you were looking for. Messages for my collector. Let's get one more. Then we'll pull some tarot. Okay, so for some of you guys, you can be receiving some type of message. So this could be someone who's going to reach out. So we're definitely going to clarify this, okay? This could be someone that's going to reach out after they clean their closet, okay? This is somebody that clean out some skeletons, clean out all that, you know, whoever they've been holding on to. Because some of you, they've been holding on to people from their past. You know what I'm saying? So you could be receiving a message from this person. Look at this. No one will ever satisfy me sexually like you did. This, <laughs> this is someone, like I said, you have a strong sexual chemistry. You could have been trying to replace their energy. I mean, you know, looking for other people to replace that chemistry that you shared or replace, you know, how she, they was fucking you basically. But you haven't been able to replace this person's energy and neither have they, okay? No one can sexually, no one can satisfy you sexually like they did, okay? Now, for some of you, we got tired of waiting, but this came out in reverse, okay? So I feel like some of you are maybe not tired of waiting. You know, you're still trying to have patience with this person and this situation because this came out in reverse. So maybe you're trying to give this person time to clear up, you know what I'm saying, their karmic debt or whatever it is that they need to pay off, but you will be getting communication from this person, okay? So let's go to the answer in time before I get to the tarot. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. And I hope something here has been resonating for you. So let's go to message. Messages for the collective. Can you tell me about when the collective could be receiving some type of communication here? All right, we're going to clarify this message card. Messages for my collective. When can my collective Holy Spirit be expecting to receive some type of communication from this person? All right, message. Clarify message, Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay. Damn, this came out last time. For some of you, ooh. All right, for some of you, this is going to happen within the next three months, okay? For some of you, you're going to receive some type of communication within the next three months. For some of you, it's going to be a year from now. But whenever this opportunity is, whether it's within the next three months or a year from now, Spirit wants you to speak your truth. Don't hold back how you feel. You know what I'm saying? This is your opportunity when you receive this communication. They tell you about, you know, how much they love you and how they told themselves they didn't want you and all. This is your time to speak your truth, okay? So there's been something that you've been holding on to, you know, some things that you've been wanting to say to this person, and this is going to be your time to speak your truth. All right, so let's pull just a little bit of tarot, y'all. Let's clarify a little deeper what's going on with this person. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more about this person who convinced themselves that they did not love the collective. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. Tell us more about this person who tried to convince themselves that they did not love my collective okay what they shared with them was just good sex you know tell us more let's get one more all right messages for the collective tell us more holy spirit about this person who tried to convince themselves they didn't love okay so collective this person who tried to convince themselves that they didn't love you they actually invested their time their energy and looks like money 
into another situation. But see, the problem was with this investment that they made, okay? This is someone who they didn't get what they were expecting. Like, you know, when you invest your time, energy, and money in somebody, you expect them to invest in, you know what I'm saying, invest their same time, energy, and money back into you. But they didn't do that. Look how this person looking at that. Like, they planted this seed with somebody, which means, you know, they could have been with them for seven years or more. Like, they've been with them for a long time, long enough to plant this seed, try to build some type of foundation with this red on, you know? But I feel like no matter what they did, it was, like, never good enough, you know? And it's like they realized that this really was a bad investment here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. They could have invested emotional. You know, this could have been a very emotional connection or, you know, they had connected, well, they invested a lot of love, you know, because this is someone, like I said, they planted the seed, so they could even marry this person, you know, trying to build a stability, trying to build a home or a foundation with this person. But like I said, whatever they put in to this, they didn't get that back. You could be dealing with a Taurus or you can be a Taurus. Tell us more about the Seven of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Eight of Cups as well, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. I feel like several times, you know, when this person, like, look how all these cups stack. But if you look inside those cups, what you see? Not shit. You know, this could have been someone who was keeping secrets from this person. You know, they could have been led several times to walk away. Remember I said something about this red? With this with this Seven of Pentacles, they really planned to see. For some of you guys, they, they tried to, this is a marriage here. Like, they really tried to build some type of foundation with this person. You know, they invest a lot of time, energy, money, you know, thinking if they just do all they can to prove themselves to this third party, like, that would be enough. I feel like every time they stacked up these cups and looked inside, like, there never was enough. This person had really nothing to offer them. And I feel like the universe was wanting this person to walk away. They wanted them to turn their back and to walk away from this third party because they weren't fulfilled. They weren't happy within this relationship or within this marriage. But see all these mountains right here, it's gonna be, it wasn't just gonna be easy just to walk away from this third party. You know what I'm saying? There were gonna be lots of obstacles, lots of challenges that lay ahead of them before they start this journey of self-love, loving themselves, knowing their world. Like this was the journey. Like once they walked away, once they realized like whatever this person had to offer them wasn't enough to keep them around, they were led to start this spiritual journey, you know. Focus on themselves. Focus on loving themselves. Knowing their worth. Now, like I said, that shit wasn't going to be easy with these mountains and shit. You know, it's going to be lots of obstacles and challenges when you focus on yourself and when you learn to put yourself first. But see, spirit was going to be with them each and every step of the way. But see, the problem is for some of you guys, they still have feelings. They still have emotions and feel like there is still some type of emotional attachment that they have to this person from their past. And that's why when they were being led to walk away, to turn their back on this person, to start this journey of self-love and loving themselves and focus on themselves. Why they can do that shit? Because they were too caught up in all these feelings and emotions. Yeah, for some of you, they were caught up in all these feelings and emotions that they still have for this third party. And that's why it's been hard for them to walk away, even though they're not happy, even though they're not fulfilled within this relationship, they're too caught up in, in feelings and emotions. Let's get one more. We got Taurus, and we also have Pisces. And I feel like even though some things have been revealed, some things have been revealed to you or this person, you know, and it's like even though then, they still aren't able to walk away. 777-888 could be significant. Mm. Someone who's going to experience spiritual poverty. Excuse me. So this could be your divine counterpart for some of you. Because I feel like spirit has been leading them to walk away because they don't like, they're going to have to experience something, okay? For some of you, it's going to be a financial loss because remember what I said with the seven of pentacles, they've invested a lot of money as well, okay? We got the seven and the five of pentacles. So they definitely have put a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? They don't spend a lot of money on this third party. Invested maybe in their business, their dreams, their goals. They didn't take the time to invest in their own businesses, their dreams or goals. Heavy Taurus energy. They're experiencing some type of financial strain. Someone trying to live off the bare minimum while they up here taking care of this third party and letting and allowing them to live the life of the rich and famous. You know, this energy of feeling abandoned and hopeless after possibly walking away from a third party in the in the future. You know, it's like they're not gonna be able to like pick up the pieces of their life. Like they're gonna stay in this energy of just feeling 
abandoned and hopeless and you know or maybe you guys this is how they feel about you because you could have been the one that has been walking away from this person as well okay you could have invested i'll take it how it resonates this could have happened to you and then this could have happened to somebody in your energy as well but either way someone here is experiencing a financial strain because i feel like they were led to walk away from somebody and it was like they refused not to like they were stuck on slipper for way too long okay all right y'all so we had heavy taurus and pisces so let's see who this reading is about we got Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Sag. We got Aries, Aquarius, heavy Aries, Gemini, and Aquarius. So this could be your sign or the person that you're dealing with. We got Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.